Hey everybody, I love vegetables and I love vegetables that are coated in wonderful flavors. And one of my favorite flavors is a balsamic vinegar. So I've got on my stovetop here a uh, half cup of balsamic vinegar that I've reduced down and it's beginning to thicken. And to that, I'm gonna add a stick of butter, so a half cup of butter, and stir that in. Smells so good already. Just that balsamic is wonderful. And my veg is going to be um, broccoli. So we're going to uh, coat a, um, some broccoli florets in a balsamic and butter and brown sugar, red pepper flake, and garlic powder combination. So like I said, the, uh, the balsamic has already reduced down and begun to thicken. So I've added the butter, brown sugar red pepper flakes and we'll continue to uh, to cook that and in the meantime I'm going to steam three bro broccoli uh, florets I'm just gonna put them over my little pot here and steam those up nice and so while we're waiting on our balsamic and butter make sure to come together let's go ahead and take a little break and then I'll come right back Okay, everybody, welcome back. Balsamic glazed broccoli. So what I did was melted, reduced, and thickened a half cup of balsamic um, vinegar, and I added some red pepper flakes, a little brown sugar, and some garlic salt. And I've steamed some broccoli, and it's beautiful now. We're going to go ahead and uh, put it together. So steamed broccoli, beautiful. One of my favorite vegetables, I would say. And I'm going to drizzle it with this. Uh oh, let me turn that off. And I'm going to drizzle it with this beautiful balsamic glaze. Ooh, steaming hot. Look at that. Whew, boy, is that going to be good. Look at that. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's nice and thick. And we'll just toss it to coat a little bit. I added enough pepper flakes to give it a little kick, but it's not going to be super hot. But if you've got little kids that you want to feed this to, you might want to dial back on them or leave them out altogether. You know. Once you make a recipe exactly by the directions, after that, do whatever you want. So I'll just toss this to coat it. Oh boy. So butter, balsamic, red pepper flakes, brown sugar, and garlic powder. And it looks so great. I'm not going to let it just sit in that pool of uh, liquid. I'm going to take that out and plate it. So why don't we go ahead and do that? This would be nice uh, on the side of a salad, or you could put it right on top of your salad if you wanted to, or you could just eat it plain, right on the side. This has got a very Asian feel to me, so with this I might want to make a stir-fried chicken or some rice. Gosh, it smells so good, the balsamic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The broccoli is steamed perfectly. You don't want to overcook broccoli, or any vegetable for that matter. It'll lose all of its nutrients, which after all you do want, right? I think that's the point of eating your vegetables. Looks and smells really, really nice. I think I'm going to take one and taste it here. Mmm. Mmm. So great. Vegetables can be and are delicious as well as good for you. So, there you go. A balsamic glazed broccoli. Super simple. The longest uh, part of this recipe is... <clears throat> excuse me. 
reducing the balsamic. It takes about six to eight minutes to do that. But this is a beautiful, tasty, uh, delicious recipe, and I think that you'll like it. So thanks for joining me. See you next time. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.